So you want to hear a story? Well, I'm a good storyteller. I can tell all sorts of stories. And I can make it better than they normally are. I got a book right here. Three Thinky Pigs. Well, let me read it to you. Ooh. Now once upon a time, there lived three pigs. A mama pig, a papa pig, and little bitty baby pig. Hi, I'm Mama Pig. I'm Papa Pig. I'm a baby pig. And they just built a house made of straw in the hundred acre woods. Well, that particular day, the pigs were cooking a big old pot of pork and beans on the stove. Mmm, yummy! A pot of beans. We should go for a walk so the air can clear in here. P.U. After that, the pigs went for a walk outside due to the fact that the beans made them a little gassy. Whew. Let's go for a walk, shall we? We should go for a walk. Besides that, the beans took a few hours to simmer anyway. So what else are you going to do in a hundred acre woods? Well, anyway, while they were gone, the neighbor come over. The big bad wolf. He just stopped over to welcome him to the neighborhood. So he knocked on the door. And he knocked again. But nobody answered. Maybe nobody's home. As he stood there, oh, he smelled something. Oh, it smells like a fragrance that he smelled before. Hey, I think I smell something. Smell like a smell I smelled before. I think it smells like pork and beans. As he stood there, he thought to himself, you know, I like pork and I like beans. Boy, I wonder where that smell's coming from. I like pork and I like beans. I could go for some pork and beans. Oh yeah. So he looked around. He looked around with his little sniffer. I think <laughs> and he found out that the window was open. Hey, that smell's coming from the window. I think it's coming from the window. So the big bad wolf crawled into the window inside. Whoop! I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. After he got in, he found a huge pot of pork and beans cooking on the stove. Mmm, what do we have here? A big pot of pork and beans. They won't mind if I just ate a little. Just a little bit. So naturally, he ate the whole pot. After that, he thought he'd sit down for a bit and relax. Hmm, now time to relax. However, as he sat, his tummy starts to rumble. Oh, my tummy feels funny. And you know, it didn't matter what chair he sat in, his tummy kept rumbling rumbling anyway. Oh, oh, my tummy. So he thought to himself, you know, I better lie down. Maybe I can sleep these rumbles off. So he went up to the bedroom and hopped into bed. But it was no use. He kept tossing and turning. All he could feel is the bean toots of brewing. And a brewing and a brewing they did. My tummy feels funny. Oh, oh my tummy. My tummy. Oh, oh, oh. My tummy. Oh, Suddenly he couldn't take any more oh, of this brewing. And he my tummy. ran down to the bathroom as fast as he could. That's why they call it the runs. And would you know it, the moment that the wolf shut the bathroom door, he heard the pigs come in. And now he has to be extra quiet. Uh oh, uh, someone's here. He doesn't want to know that they're stinking up their bathroom. Oh, now what is he going to I, do? I better, oh, oh, my tummy. I better turn off the lights. Hold them toots and gotta be quiet. Gotta be quiet. The first thing the pigs noticed when they came in is the pot of beans was gone. And Papa Pig said, Who's been eating my beans? And the mama said, Who's been eating my beans? And the baby pig said, Somebody's been eating my beans and they're all gone. After that, the pigs just remembered that there's a new Charles show coming out on YouTube. I heard there was a new Charles video out on YouTube. You want to watch it? There's a new Charles show. Whoopee! 
So they went to the living room to watch it. And they noticed that the chairs, there was something funny about them. And Papa Pig said, my chair smells funny. Then Mama Pig said, my chair stinks. Woo-wee. And Baby Pig said, my chair smells like burnt underwear. After that, the pigs decided to go to the bedroom. But then they looked at their beds and Papa Pig said, somebody's been tooting in my bed. The Mama Pig said, Somebody's been tooting my bed. And Baby Pig said, Somebody's been tooting my bed and they're still tooting it. Ew. So with all this tooting mischief going on, they decided to go down to the bathroom and freshen up. But when they got to the bathroom, One the mean. door was locked. Hmm. And there sat the wolf in the dark, trying to be quiet, trying to hold those toots in. But they kept brewing and brewing and brewing. Gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. Hey, is there someone in the bathroom? Hold the toots, hold the toots, thought the wolf. Oh, if I do. And finally he couldn't let it any longer and the whole house blew up. The pigs didn't know what hit them. Hmm. They woke up later and said, well, what happened to the house? What happened to the house? There must have been a gas leak. Now what are we going to do? We need to build a new house. This time, we're going to make it out of wood. So they built the house. They built a new house out of wood. Then one day, the big bad wolf come over. Knocked on the door. And Mama Pig let him in because she was nice and generous. Oh. Hello there. Well, howdy, neighbor. You wouldn't mind if I used the bathroom. Um, I gotta go. Sure, come on in. It's down the hall. Next thing you know, he tooted so loud it blew that house up too. Ah! So now this time, the pigs got smart, and they built their third house from bricks. And now when the wolf came and knocked on the door and asked to use the bathroom, they said, Oh, no. hello there. Hey, uh, I can use your bathroom again. Uh, I'm out of toilet paper, and uh, it's tough to go out in the woods, you know. Oh, no. You're not coming here again. Uh-uh. Oh, but the wolf... The wolf really had to go bad, and he didn't want to go outside because there's no toilet paper out there. So, oh wait, he had an idea, a great idea. He's going to climb down the chimney. Maybe if I go down this chimney, I can get down to the bathroom. Hannah, uh, I gotta go. No toilet paper left. Can't just go out in the woods anywhere. But little did he know that the pigs were cooking more beans in the chimney. Mmm, time to make more beans. Let's start up the fire. <laughs> and oh, by the way, if you got the toots and you have an open fire, it's very flammable. It's very explosive. Rah! My tummy! Oh, oh, oh! My tummy! Boy, that wolf, boom, ran out of that chimney just like a shotgun. It went way past the moon and everything. Nobody ever seen him again. And that's a real story of what happened to the three pigs. Yep. Tune in next week. Maybe I'll tell you another story. No, 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 no,